All right, and we're back with another special guest. Um, welcome uh, on the live stream. Hi, uh, hello everybody at home. Can you uh, present yourself? Uh, yeah. Tell them uh, who you are, what you do, and why you're here. All right. So my name is Robin. Um, I've been doing calisthenics uh, since COVID. Uh, I'm a bit older, as you can see. Uh, I started um, doing uh, calisthenics together with barbenders. They're here as well. So barbenders started as a nonprofit. Uh, they're still a nonprofit organization, and they're doing lots of events and stuff for uh, for the calisthenics community. Um, and we started realizing that uh, calisthenics is, is still too low stream, not mainstream enough, and there is a lot of potential in the sports, a lot of different disciplines, like this one today is street lifting. And so we, we, we felt that in order to be able to grow as a sport, we need some sort of uh, yeah, federation, a sort of, uh, uh, how, do, how do you call it? Yeah, a sports organization, yeah. sports federation that, that could... Uh, try and officialize the sport because in, in the Netherlands and in Belgium it's still not an official recognized sport and so this is why we started um, creating a calisthenics federation and so since a year and a half something like that the Belgian calisthenics federation has been created so it's a non-profit uh, with uh, the, 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 the only goal to, to make the sport official to make official regulations to to try and help uh, communities and, and cities build uh, safe parks yeah. and try to yeah, define <coughs> rules and, and, and all, all that's necessary in order to be a professional, sa professional safe and recognized sport. Okay, cool. That was uh, a very nice introduction Thanks. of my man here. Thanks. So uh, what are the next steps? Like uh, you have created the federation right now. Yeah. What are the next steps that will you want to do or what is, what's uh, happening in the planning of the near future of yeah. uh, the Belgian Calisthenics Federation? So as you uh, were able to see in the live stream today and yesterday, there is this VAR system, VPlay, that's being developed by uh, Inno Sports Lab in the Netherlands. So one of the focuses of the federation is indeed sports innovations. So. I think we can all agree, I hope we can all agree, that this uh, VAR system is an added value. And so we tested it uh, on a static competition in February. Uh, we te we're testing it now in a street lifting competition. And we're going to test it as well in a freestyle competition in August. And then, yeah, we want to fine tune it even more. So this is one of the things we're trying to work on, um, sports innovations. And of course, uh, uh, the next step would be um, a collaboration between uh, an Omni Sport Federation that is linked to uh, Sport Vlaanderen. And so we really want to uh, make it an official sport and become recognized so that people can see there is a, a sort of list of yeah. sports and you can you can see calisthenics isn't in it. And so this is something we want to do uh, okay. as soon as possible as well. Clear, so clear. We recognized sports with recognized trainers because now there are trainers, but we need to go to the Netherlands to have an official certificate. So that's not normal. Yes. And we want to do this in Belgium as well. Clear. That's nice. Very nice. Um, to come back to the VAR, I have to agree the VAR is a added value. Um, it helps the, the sport grow. It helps the sport indeed get the uniformity and the great ruling. Um, do you think in the future, when we are um, more familiar with the software, with the hardware that we have for the VAR, should we have like a clear floor plan where we should place the cameras, where we should have it, on which height we should have the cameras to make it easier, to make it easier for the judges to judge and in the end to have like a controlled environment? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're totally right. I completely agree. We, we're even thinking on adding maybe, if it's possible, we need to check it, but adding, in adding a second camera. Okay. So if you have two cameras, you don't have to have too much cameras, but you have a second camera. For instance, when pulling, if you put a camera at the height of the coach, or the, yeah. co the, the judge is now, and you have two cameras, and indeed we need to make regulations and document everything as yeah. well. I, I think that if we were continuing working with this system, that we would need uh, certified VAR uh, trainers or yeah. VAR uh, controllers yes. as well because now it's it's all being tested but we need yeah, people controlling the VAR need to be certified with, with street lifting regulations and all regulations yes. necessary so yeah Correct. everything should be uh, well defined and documented I think the, if we look at the competition of today I think we already made a huge step forward comp uh, compared to the previous competitions that we have for the Belgian street lifting community if you're looking at now um, with the uh, progress we have made how how confident are you that in one, two or three years our sport will be recognized as an official sport? Uh, 
there is a, a very big chance because we're really working towards it and events like this can 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 show the people and can show the official sports instances uh, in the country that it's a sport that lives people are coming to watch it yesterday there were so many people here on the live stream there are always people as well if you go to a freestyle competition there are lo lots of people all the time so uh, Sport Vlaanderen and Frost, which we are working together, they they, they notice this, so it's they, they agree that it should be on, on a recognized sport. Okay. So I'm confident that in a year or two this will be the case. Super, great news. Um, just to close off this interview, yeah. Um, the well, I lost my question. My question was uh, in, your head, yeah. in my head, and take, then suddenly take, take your time, take your time. Uh, so. For us, the the sport is growing. Uh, your efforts are being um, are being you're putting all the efforts to make it an official sport. Where or what is there a platform that people can connect with you um, to have if they have questions or they want to participate or they want to give a, uh, give you some support or give you a, some uh, a helping hand? Yeah. Is there a platform that they can contact you? Um, we ha we are building a website, so there is a domain name. We have a website, but it's still uh, in progress. Uh, for now, there is our Instagram channel and uh, an official email address. But if you look up Belgian Calisthenics Federation on Instagram, then you can contact us already and, and ask questions. Or, or if you want to be updated on some, some stuff, feel free to ask questions and yeah, participate. So for now, the Instagram is the only official okay. channel that exists. So uh, the, the website will be coming as well. Okay, cool. So the handle is just uh, at Belgian Calisthenics Federation. Uh, no, the handle is, is, is different. The handle is uh, calisthenics.belgium. So maybe yeah, it's a good it's idea to put it. Uh, calisthenics, yeah. Belgium. Yeah. With a dot in, with a dot in between. Okay. With a dot in between. Let's, let me just need to double check that I don't say anything that's not uh, calisthenics. Belgium. Yeah, okay, maybe. so Here's I the put the, the handle the here in chat. Um, thank you very much. No problem. For uh, for, uh, for uh, coming on the live stream and answering these questions. Um, I wish you the best and let's hope that this sport will grow and that the uh, Belgian uh, uh, sport Vlaanderen will recognize the sport and that we have uh, future growth in the future. I'm confident. It's also thanks to people like you and events like this. So thank you to you too. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Bye. You heard it here first, guys. Uh, Belgian Calisthenics Federation was here and will help giving a helping hand to make the sports grow.